I'm Sterling Hundley and I've been asked to introduce the first step in our five-step image making process. It's important to remember that picture making is problem solving. Understanding what problem you are solving in each step of the image making process will allow you to arrive at your visual solutions more efficiently. Efficiency is key when dealing with projects where client interests and maintaining your own point of view clash with the time constraints of deadlines. The very first step in our five-step process is ideation and it will help you determine the content or subject matter of your painting. I will walk you through several of my projects from inception to completion to help provide you with an ideation process that you can adapt and apply to your own visual problem solving. Shown here are Blackbeard, Vertical Hold, Bunny Man Bridge, and The Bends. First, begin with text. In illustration, this is generally provided by your client in the form of a manuscript, story, or something similar. In your personal work, you can author the text and the process will be the same. You want to research any topics that you may not be familiar with. My first example is from a story about Blackbeard. I was vaguely familiar with the story, but research provided me necessary detailed information. Next, simplify the text. Boil the content down into several words that directly relate to the author's content. These unrelated words will serve as the catalyst for your word list, or word stacks as I like to call them. These notes are taken from the urban legend about the Bunnyman Bridge in Washington, D.C. I organize my topics into the things that I researched about Bunny Man, Legend, Lunatic, and Urban. Write down any words under your word stacks that you associate with the topic. Don't hesitate to pursue tangents or create new word stacks. I actually encourage this because it often leads to less obvious solutions. Create simple icons next to your words. This will be the first step in establishing a visual connection to your literal associations. Try to make sure that you don't spend too much time on detailed drawings. Simplicity is actually better at this stage in your development. The next step is to form connections between the icons and separate word stacks which I refer to as bridges. Connections can be made through metaphors, analogies, visual and literal associations, wordplay, shape, designs, or any other parallels that you can draw. Shown here is an example from a project with the open-ended theme of pearls from Workbook. You can see that I've created bridges between pearls and Workbook and forced associations between the two lists. Develop more complex drawings from your bridges where you're trying to visually juxtapose two disparate ideas into a single image. Shown here are examples from Blackbeard, Bunny Man, and The Bends. Use value to explain shape. Value thumbnails allow you and your client to better understand your projected outcome, light and dark pattern, and the focal point of your projected solution. Shown here are the final sketches presented for Vertical Hold, Blackbeard, and Bunny Man. Draw a box in the appropriate proportions to define your composition. Many strong ideas have never come to fruition because I simply can't make them work within the confines of a client's needs. I save those ideas for future projects, as is the case for Vertical Hold, shown here. The simple act of drawing a box makes you aware of composition for the first time in this process. Composition is a very important tool in the communication of your ideas. Finally, you'll want to define your method of execution to complement your content solution. You can begin thinking of how you will create your final image once you've determined what you're going to paint. Shown here are the final executions for Blackbeard, the Bunny Man Bridge, the Bends, and Vertical Hold. Just as a recap, remember to begin with text. Simplify the text into several words and use them to create word stacks. Write down word associations under each word stack. Create simple icons for your words. Form bridges or connections between the icons. Develop more complex drawings from bridges. Draw a box and define your composition. Use value to fully explain shape. And finally, define your method of execution as a complement to your content solution.